Hey everybody, this is Harry, and three times a charm, because I'm the third time I'm trying to make this video. And it is Tuesday, and uh, it is Films of the Century, and I'm doing 1940 to 1949, and uh, fun, fun doing these here. These are like our, my favorite uh, films from each decade. Uh, I'd only do two. Um, some of the fellows have been doing, it uh, depends on what year, um, doing two, three, four, five, whatever. Uh, I'm only doing two because I don't want it, the video to last, you know, 10 years. Not really going to give a description of the movie. Um, trying to keep this, try to keep it close to 10 minutes, and I doubt it'll happen. So uh, let's get started. So 1940, my favorite film is the Philadelphia Story, uh, directed by George Kukar, uh, starring Cary Grant, Catherine Hepburn, James Stewart, Ruth Hussey, John Howard, Roland Young. And this is the film that, uh, that I mentioned in the last video, James Stewart won an Academy Award for, as Macaulay, uh, what was this, Macaulay, can't remember the last name, but anyways, doesn't matter. Uh, next one is the Seahawk, uh, directed by Michael, Michael Curtiz, starring Errol Flynn, Brenda Marshall, Claude Rains, Donald Crisp, Alan Hale. Great uh, swashbuckling movie by Errol Flynn. I have the DVD. Don't know if I want to upgrade to the, the Blu-ray, but uh, it's a great film. I, I, I love it to death. Just like Captain Blood, the, those pirate movies are always good. So the Seahawk uh, from 1940. 1941, <clears throat> Meet John Doe, uh, directed by Frank Capra, uh, starring Gary Cooper, Barbara Stanwyck, Edward Arnold, Walter Brennan, and James Gleason. And um, another great film about a um, Barbara Stanwyck is a newspaper reporter who writes a story about the man who is uh, who's down on his luck and he's going to kill himself on Christmas Eve. And uh, jump off the building, and um, later they find a guy who plays him. They find a homeless guy, um, and he went along with it for the money, and then winds up saying, "You know, this ain't right." And then, anyways, it's a good story. It's in the public domain, so if you want to watch it, it's on Amazon Prime for free, um, or it's on YouTube. You can find it on YouTube. Um, I wish the Criterion Collection would pick it up and. and um, and, and do a nice uh, restoration of it. It's a great film. Uh, 1941 also saw Citizen Kane. Yes, I love Citizen Kane. Directed by Orson Welles. Starring Orson Welles, Joseph Cotton, Dorothy Comingor, Ray Collins, and Paul Stewart. Basically a film about William Randolph Hearst, even though it's not. So, 1941. You won't find a lot of Hitchcock in mine. Uh, James and Ian have a lot of Hitchcock films, which you might find is a lot of Cary Grant films coming up, you know, down the line. So <clears throat> be prepared. Uh, 1942, my favorite film of all time. I guess I'm the only one who likes this movie. Casablanca, starring, uh, or directed by Michael Curtiz, uh, starring Humphrey Bogart, Ingrid Bergman, Paul Henry, Claude Rains, Dooley Wilson, Sidney Greenstreet. Conrad, Conrad Veidt and Peter Lorre for a short time in this movie. Uh, classic film. Um, if you haven't seen it, go find it. Casablanca, it's a great film. Um, next one from 1942, The Oxbow Incident, directed by William A. Wellman, starring Henry Fonda, Dana Andrews, Anthony Quinn, Mary Beth Hughes, and Jane Darwell. Um uh, Great little film. Um, it's not that long. Actually, Harry Morgan's in it, too. Um, Harry Morgan plays Colonel Potter on MASH. And it's... Uh, kind of find it, It's about the... the vigilant, vigilantes. I don't want to give away too much on that film. But it's a great film if you could seek it out. It's called The Oxbow incident, and you know that Henry Fonda's in it, it has to be good. Um, 
1943 Cary Grant movie, uh, Mr. Lucky, directed by H.C. Potter, starring uh, Cary Grant, Lorraine Day, Charles Bickford, Paul Stewart, Gladys Cooper, Henry Stevenson. He is a gambler, and he has to go into, he gets drafted into service. And um, there's a man on the ship who um, who dies, and he takes his identity because he's 4F, which or something like that. I think it's 4F. And he can't uh, um, go into service, so he takes his identity, and um, so he tries to. He's a gambler, so he uses this woman's uh, war uh, support program to um, funnel his money through anyways it's a good it's a good movie um it was on the warner archives as a dvd but uh and then they made a tv show out of it uh later on but it's called mr lucky um 1943 also saw the life and death of colonel blimp directed by emmerich uh, pressburger and michael powell uh starring roger livesey deborah carr adolph wilbrook and roland culver I just watched this this past year on, um, rented it from Netflix, uh, DVD, Blu-ray, um, from the Criterion, uh, it was in the Criterion collection, very good movie, um, it's the life and the death up to his beginning, uh, in the army up to his death, um, and it's a, it's a long movie too, Pressburger did, and, um, and uh, Michael Powell, they did The Red Shoes. Um, so it's a great film. You can seek it out. 1944, another Cary Grant movie. None But the Lonely Heart is my favorite movie. A uh, Cary Grant film. Um, a lot of people don't care for it. I love it to death. Uh, he plays a Cockney. And it's directed by Clifford Odette. Starred Cary Grant, Ethel Barrymore, Barry Fitzgerald, June Duprez, and Jane Wyatt. And basically his mother runs a, a, a pawn shop, junk shop, and he's a wanderer. He, he just wanders around the, 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 the country traveling, kind of bums his way through life. And then he's forced to stay home. His mother's sick and uh, he doesn't want to be there and winds up getting hooked up with uh, some criminal activity and uh, gets in trouble. But uh, yeah, None But the Lonely Heart for 1944. Um, also, 1944, Meet Me in St. Louis, directed by Vincent Vanelli, starring Judy Garland, Margaret O'Brien, Mar Mary Astor, and Harry Davenport. Uh, musical, Turn of the Century, basically a uh, great film. I guess you can consider it a Christmas movie, too. Who knows? But anyways, Meet Me in St. Louis. For 1945 or 44. <clears throat> 1945, we have Anchors Away, directed by George Sidney, starring Frank Sinatra, Catherine Grayson, Gene Kelly, uh, Jose Turby, and Dean Stockwell. Um, this, of course, it's a musical. Frank Sinatra's in it, Catherine Grayson. Um, this is the one where uh, Gene Kelly uh, dances with Jerry the Mouse. So, um, cartoon. Uh, also for 1945, Scarlet Street, directed by Fritz Lang, starring Edward G. Robinson, Joan Bennett, Dan Derea, and Mary Lindsay. Dan Derea was also in None But the Lonely Heart, too. I, I didn't mention him uh, in that one. And uh, I just watched this one recently, it were, um, and I loved it. Uh, Edward G. Robinson plays a man who's married to a, a woman who they she doesn't love him and he doesn't really love her. Meets up with this woman um, who's kind of crooked and her her boyfriend and he he's a painter as well and he works at a bank and anyways he falls in love with her and then figure it out the bank and him anyways it's a, it's a good story and. Um, Check that out. I have that on Kino. And you got acorns falling on my car. <clears throat> 1946. 
It's probably on most people's list. It's a Wonderful Life, directed by Frank Capra, James Stewart, Donna Reed, Lionel Barrymore, Thomas Mitchell, Henry Travers, and Ward Bond. Everybody knows that film, so I no need to go into that. Um, the Razor's Edge, also from 1946, directed by Edmund Golden, starring Tyrone Power, Gene Tierney, John Payne, Ann Baxter, and Clifton Webb. Good, good, good film. Watched that last year. I bought it on DVD, I think. I don't think I bought it on Blu-ray, but I think I bought it on DVD. Anyways, great film uh, with Tyrone Power. <clears throat> 1947, Out of the Past, directed by Jacques Tourneur. I'm surprised nobody has mentioned this one yet. Great film, noir film, film um, starring Robert Mitchum, Jane Greer, Kirk Douglas. I think this is his second film role. I think he did the, the Many Lives of Our uh, Loves of Martha Ivers. And then um, Rhonda Fleming also in this. <clears throat> Uh, 1947, The Bachelor and the Bobby Soccer, directed by Urban Reese, uh, starring Cary Grant, Myrna Loy, Shirley Temple, Ray Collins, Harry Davenport, and Rudy Valley. Great film, um, funny film about Cary Grant, uh, a, a film that you can't make today. I, I, I did a, a review of this uh, earlier this year when we were doing, when we were giving each Buddy, everybody was given a film to watch, and uh, because of the subject matter, Cary Grant's in his 40s or 50s, and he's forced to date a teenager to get her uh, aff affection off of him or her lust or whatever from him be gone. But, anyways, funny movie, funny movie. Uh, 1948 Key Largo, directed by John Houston, starring Humphrey Bogart, Lauren Bacall, Lionel Barrymore. Edward G. Robinson and Claire Trevor, who played in Stagecoach. Um, Three Godfathers, directed by John Ford, starring John Wayne, Pedro Armanderas, Harry Carey Jr., Ward Bond, and Mae Marsh. And it's about uh, three, the three, John Wayne, Pedro, and Harry Carey characters come across a baby, and they wind up toting it caring for it. It's a good film. Uh, really, really, really good uh, John Wayne film from the 40s. Uh, 1949, <clears throat> White Heat, directed by Raul, Raul Wal Walsh, James Cagney, Virginia Mayo, Edmund O'Brien. Cagney's last, I wouldn't say his last, it's not his last movie, but it was his last big hurrah to the gangster film and, and he went out with a bang um, so if you haven't seen that one you really need to see it. it's on one of those films that you really need to see before you you, you die but at least that's on my list um, and then one I just watched this year for 1949 uh, it's called a film called late spring by Yasujiro Uzo I know I'm gonna mess that name up um, starring Shizu Rao Setsuko Ohara, Yomiji Sokioka, Haruko Sugamura. And it's basically a uh, it's family film um, about a daughter and a relationship with her father. And uh, it's a good film. It's on Criterion. Criterion Collection. Anyways, those are my films from the 1940s that I like. There's plenty more. Didn't want to make it long. It's already almost 14. It's over 14 minutes long now. So anyways, thank you for watching, commenting. Appreciate the comments that people do give. Um, not getting too many views, but that's okay. This is all for fun. Um, anyways, tell me your favorite films from the 40s. There's plenty. There's too many to mention, but those are the few. Uh, tell me what yours are. Tell me what you think of mine. And thank you very much. And everybody be safe out there in lockdown. And take care. Bye.